The Nelson injury is a big blow to Packers fans, but also disappointing that the star receiver went down in a game that doesn't count. NBC 26's Alex Hagan is live from Lambeau Field with reaction tonight. Alex? Well, good evening, Megan. Of course, many fans are rolling their eyes tonight at the fact that a player has gone down in, as you said, a game that doesn't even count. But we can also not forget the fact that these home preseason games have a huge money-making impact on our community. As people rush to catch the bus at Green Bay's Transit Center, daily routines are overshadowed by a season-ending injury. Oh, man. Not a good thing. Shocked. It was a bummer, real bummer. Green and Gold Nation now questions another player going down in a preseason game. Yep. This time, a no star doubt. receiver. Maybe it's better we just play a second string all the time and just see a, we can see the newcomers. I think they could cut it down to two. One home and one away would be more than enough. It's no secret many want to eliminate preseason games, but it's also clear meaningless games still bring in millions of dollars to our area. Probably a $13 million uh, economic impact for each preseason game as well. Uh, so it has a significant impact on our economy. But that's not going to cure a lost season for Jordy. It's a big bummer that he's already injured and it's not even the season started yet. So we can chalk this up as a disappointing Monday for Packers fans everywhere. Now, if there is talk of eliminating preseason games, Brad, Brad Toll of the uh, Greater Green Bay Convention and Visitors Bureau says that would, of course, be a huge loss to lose at least one home preseason game for our community. Reporting live tonight outside Lambeau Field, I'm Alex Hagan with NBC26.